Hello, everybody. It's me, Sugar Song, as always, and welcome back to Curse Cove. As you probably can tell, we are going to spread the curse, which means we are going to Happy Home Developer and spreading our Halloween cheer over to that island. Now, I haven't started the Happy Home Developer on this particular switch because we just made it to where we can actually do that on this particular switch, which by the way, I believe I still have the dream address in the comments down below if you wanna go like look at Curse Cove uh, for yourself. We are ready to go. We're dressed up, of course, as our Sugar Song outfits. And I do want to eventually go back to Harv's Island and get Savannah because she will have some interesting uh, wallpaper that we're going to do as well. Now, this first villager... Um, I am going to roll for what I need to roll for, so you can get the idea of what we're going to do for this, um, basically, the best I can, but we can only go to a villager's island, or a villager's vacation home, two times outside of, well, sorry, yeah, two times. We can redecorate once. <laughs> Okay, um, but we have to stick with the theme that they choose, but we have to make it as spooky as possible. So like, for example, when I first started this game, I had Ella Twee and she wanted um, like a little reading nook. Okay, so like literally I would have to make that reading nook as spooky as possible for what, what the materials that the game gives me. Now, if I do say I have a better idea, I have to write down the idea that they first had and still go with that idea just so I can make it more uh, spooky, okay? Because more than likely, it won't give me my spooky items unless I say I want it, I have my own idea. So the rules are, rule number one, Roll to choose the colors that that you will be using. We have a D20 for that. I have 20 different colors that I'm going to choose from. Roll for wood, which by the way, I have it set up to where one and four are light wood, uh, five and two are normal wood, and three and six are dark wood, okay? Number three, you must stick to the villagers uh, theme even if you say you have a better idea you can use amiibo cards but only for roommates you can only decorate a place up to two times unless you're adding a roommate so if it's like somebody you don't want to have like you already decorated once you can redecorate but only if you bring in a roommate, okay? And you must stick to the theme that you pick out. We're sticking to the theme of Curse Cove, which is Halloween themed. And we're going to try to stick to it as best as we can as we go through this endeavor. Hey, Nico, how's it going, buddy? That's right, that's me. I'm here to see Lottie. So, like, literally we're going to make our, uh, like... Uh, what is it called? Operating room. An actual, like, really scary operating room is the plan. Okay? We're gonna make it look great when we get to that point. Same with the schoolhouse. Everything that is on this island has to stick to the theme of Curse Cove. Because we're literally spreading the curse. Welcome, Sugar Song. Welcome, Nico. Thank you for bringing her, Nico. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, so, like, obviously the first villager that we get is someone that we don't really get to choose. And the theme, obviously, I don't know because I've only ever gotten one villager in this F endeavor on my other uh, island. So, well, I'll be excited to see if it's actually going to be somebody else. Okay, can I go and change yet, Lottie? They're still talking, obviously. This is the first time I'm here. Wilbur. I love Wilbur. I think I don't. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. I'm sorry, buddy. Hello. Dot 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 dot. Ellipses. Only I can do ellipses, there, buddy. 
Okay, sorry. I'm excited. I'm excited for this challenge I have uh, put on upon myself. Um, so, go upstairs and go to the mirror and change into your uniform. Okay, thank you. So, as you can see, I'm just dressed up normal. Like, I'm going somewhere. That was kind of the plan to go and do that today. <laughs> dressed up like Sugar Song. And so, we're going to dress up like Sugar Song if she was going to be working here. Is basically the best way to describe what I'm going to do. So, obviously, got to wear my dress because she only ever wears a dress. Oh, we could wear this, though, too. No, nah, I like the little pigtails thing. Um, but let's give myself a little flower because I think that would be cute. Yeah, definitely that one. And we'll kind of just stick with this for a while until we get new stuff to choose out of. I'm not really a pink fan. Let's go with these flower ones. And we don't necessarily need a backpack, but I feel like, nah, we won't really necessarily need one. Okay, perfect. Good enough for now. Obviously. <laughs> Gotta wear the uniform that they give you. <sighs> Look, Lottie, we match. Okay, I'm excited to see who our first villager is. I'm excited to see if it's going to be someone different than what I got my first villager on the other Switch. So it'll be interesting to see if you get somebody different. Got it, Lottie. Don't worry about a thing. I'll be right with you the whole time. You can even call me boss. I will not be calling you boss, Nico. All right. All we need is clientele. Ding, ding, of course. Ah, uh, ah, uh, it's the same person. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> this villager. Of all the villagers. Why do they start well off with this villager is what I question. I guess it's because she has a really easy idea of what she wants to do. Okay, so. Obviously... Like I said, she's going to want a library. So we're going to try to make it as haunted as possible. Um, and basically, we're going to go with the, like, the rolling of the dice to see which uh, color palette we're going to go with and which wood we can only use. We'll do that here in a little bit once we get to the place, which is already picked out for us, which makes me upset. But we will do it anyways. Here we go. All right, Eloise, as per usual, of course, you're the first villager that we end up with. And it's fine. I was kind of hope I, I, ne I don't ever watch anyone else play this part of the game. But does anyone else start off with Eloise? Is it always Eloise? I thought it was random chance on who you get. But maybe it's not. Okay, the location's already been picked. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so I can't use amiibo cards unless it's uh, for a roommate. And I can only decorate the place twice, which means with Eloise here, we can't do the outside right away. But as soon as I can do the outside for the houses, that's going to be the second go around, basically, is why I say two times for everybody. Because of the fact that you don't get the outside right away for any of these villagers. And we can always make it the next day um, to... Uh, get it to where we have different villagers. Please don't send that stuff. I will remove it. I will not report you right away, but stop sending that.
Okay, so before we actually get really started here, let me switch my screens really quick. I need to scroll this up so I can actually do it and still make sure I'm on the screen. So let me blink this out and there is my screen for the actual rolling purposes. So I'm using this roller online, as you probably can see. Hopefully you can see my little mouse. We're gonna roll a D20 and then this is what the D20 will be rolled for. As you can see, it goes one through 20 and we will roll to see which one we get right now. And this is the colors I have to go with. So it's gonna be the purple, white, green, and yellow, which is perfect for Eloi or Elatui. So I have to remember that's the color palette that I'm using, okay? So it's gonna be purple, white, green, and yellow. So now we're gonna roll for which wood we're going to use. And the light wood is one and four, two and five are normal wood, and three and six is dark wood. So I'm gonna roll a D6. It is a four, which means I got to use light wood, which is fine. I'm okay with light wood. All right. So that's how that whole thing works. Let's go back to the actual game. Okay. So I have to use light wood. We can use yellow and green, purple and white. I believe that was the colors that I could use. I need to look at I need to look at the palettes. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll switch it back when uh we need to do another roll off. Okay. Whoops. All right, hold on. I need to fix it just a little bit so I can see my color palette in your guys's text. Obviously. And I need to make sure that you guys can hear me. Perfect. All right. So we're using color palette number three. All right. So the we already got light wood going on here. Um, so obviously we're going to try to make it spooky as possible. Um, and it's going to be very difficult because we couldn't say we want it how we would want it. So with that being said, on this particular run through, I'm just going to get through Ella Twee's like whole thing and then we will do an actual real one but I will try to stay with the color palette that was chosen for me um so she wants it to be a library which is unfortunate for us but we're gonna try to make it very creepy as possible um let's go with this brick look because that would make it look like she's like I don't know in a different place I suppose anything that says dark I cannot use I have to stay in the wheelhouse of my color palettes so I think I might use this purple flooring because that is one of the colors that we can use and I think what I'll do is I will turn off the lights but I'll give her lamps or something like that instead I do want her to have a couch and we can use our um, things here as well. So by the way, this would be light or normal. This would be dark and then white and all the other colors will be, you know, what it is. I think I might go with purple again for the base and then do a funky pattern on top. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I want to kind of do. That would be interesting. We could go with white pegs too. Ooh, we could go with this white and purple. That would be interesting. We could go with stripes. We could go with this one because that would be like a pattern that would be the colors that we can use. I don't want it to be too light either. We could also use our beautiful like uh, palettes as well that we've made on Curse Cove as long as they're the colors. Like for example, I wouldn't be able to use this one because it's black. 
Um, so, but like, as long as it's like, you know, has some variation, this has more yellow in it. So I wouldn't probably use that, you know, stuff like that. Um, I will not be adding to this except for blood stains because I do want to add some blood into our hospital. So I won't make that until later. And I will not be using Nintendo online to get blood stains. I will just make them. Okay. I'm thinking this one to be frankly honest, but I don't want it to be those purple pegs. Let's go with white instead. And then let's put it on this wall. So I want a bigger area for the actual like um, shelving units. Whoopsies. Didn't need to make two of them. Um, let's put this in the middle. Kind of like that. We need to make that a different color, I think. We could go with this white, because that would be the light color. Let's go with that one, and then we'll just give it, you know, a spooky, our spooky little ghost, because it does have purple in it, which is one of the colors. I'm glad about that. I'll just kind of put that in front of here. Kind of like right here. Sure. Because she can, she can still rock, I suppose. Um, let's give her... Ooh, a scented candle. Sure. And it could stay white, but I want to see if it can be turned black. Ooh, it can be go... Oh, yes. Perfect. Ah, I like that. I really do. Okay, let's look at the actual like books here. So, like, with the books, um, obviously, there's not very many colors. So, we'll have to see what we can do. We could go with old. Um, and, obviously, with the this, it is the light wood already. So, like, you'll see light wood, normal wood, dark wood, and then white. We could go with white or the light wood. We're going to stick with the light wood. We could change this as well to black. So, I think I might do that. So we don't have a lot of black going on in our little color palette thing that we have to do. Right? Wait, no. Black's not one of our colors. I'm so sorry. Uh, white is our color. And light wood. Okay. So we gotta keep it light wood. Unfortunately. Oh, that's right. We don't have black. I thought we had black. Um, let me fix our candle then too. Because we don't have black so we can't use black. There we go. Okay. That was my bad. I thought we had black for some reason. And we don't. We have white. Uh, cream would also work. And it has a green filter thing there. Which would be nice. Or we could use this green or this white. I think we're going to go with cream. Because it has green in it too. That's the color that we're missing. Is a lot of green. <sighs> I forgot about the green. We got to have our creepy clock can it be changed no it cannot it doesn't look like a light wood so we can't use that either but we could use this maybe and change it to white is there another color that we could change it to nope it has to be white all right see this is what the color palettes kind of do make you think outside of the box of what you can and cannot use um, we can throw in some more bookshelves here and there. I think I'm going to put some bookshelves on this side of the wall. Ella Twee, you're in the freaking way. Get out of here. Um, I think I'll bring in some green with the shrubbery. She liked that one. We have to make the base the colors that we have to stick with. So let's go with green. I 
I wish we had some more candles, to be frankly honest. We do have this dehumidifier, though. She's like, what the hell is that? Um... We could go with that, or even make that green, too. Since we really don't have a whole heck of a lot of green. Keep that green, and then just change the pattern on the bottom here to be, like, something else. We could use a little yellow. We don't have very much yellow either. Actually, I wonder if that would be on better on the other wall than this wall. Ah, can't do that. Got it. Um, I think these are yellow already. Yep, they sure are. Perfect. And then... Do we not have a music player for the tables? That's kind of sad. Oh, we do, but it's a cute one. that one either. We could use... Oh, wait. We have this one, too. Duh. Bring that back. Put that in the middle over here.
think I'll keep it natural with the that and then this can definitely be changed to different colors we'll keep that white and then on here as well maybe we'll put a plant can that go on the table it can okay good we'll make it green I think I might do one more carpet over on this corner. Nah, I liked it how it was. There. Okay. I like the idea that this is like the little reading nook that she kind of sits in with the rocking chair. And then, like, she can come over here and sit down, too. I'm wondering if it would look better, though, if she was sitting over here. Kind of like by this window. Yeah, that looks better. And we got, like, a lot of stuff on the walls. I feel like we need one more thing on this wall. Maybe the same type of picture frame with a different picture. Like, do the green and then maybe leave it as the flowers. Okay, perfect, actually. It looks really nice. Obviously, it's not as, like, uh, creepy as I would want it. Because, obviously, I can't change the color of, like, the daytime yet for the thing. But I think it's ready for what we could do for the first go-around for Ella Twee. So that's decoration number one. When we come back here again, they'll make us take a picture. That does not count as our second time of decorating because all we're going to do is come back and take a picture of her for the um, thing and then we're going to leave. And then when we come back after we can like actually decorate outside, we will make it more Halloween theme around her house. And then go inside and make it more Halloween themed. And then that will be our second decoration for her. Okay? Because it's going to make us come back there for the um, actual, like, storyline. And that one's not going to count for us. It's marvelous, she says. Well, look at you. The first job and a huge success. I can't wait to tell Lottie about our great work we did. You did. I think it looks actually really nice. I would never pick those colors to be together. Um, stuff like that. Like, everything that I want to do is, like, going out great. It was perfect. Because I'm perfect, Lottie. Wait, that's not right. Hold on. I need to fix that. It's not 30 days anymore. I am... 3rd a different theme. Okay. Okay, so I'm calling this the Happy Home Challenge, but for our streaming purposes, it's called Spreading the Curse, because I want to spread the curse from Curse Cove to here. So, 
for th this particular challenge. It's a challenge I made up, <laughs> obviously, but is called the Happy Home Challenge. And basically, the ha part of the Happy Home Challenge is to have all your spaces filled. I should probably put that underneath the goals. Because obviously, we're still ironing out the... Uh, all areas must be in the theme. You pick. And number two, all areas must be done. I don't know how many days this will actually take me, but it will be interesting to know for, like, a part of, like, another, if we ever want to make another part of the challenge. We could try to do it, you know, um, in a certain time frame. Definitely not 30 days. We'll say... We'll probably make it less than... <laughs> we'll probably try to either make it less than that. We'll see how long it actually takes me. We're just gonna spread the curse of the happy home challenge, basically, now. Okay, no, we're gonna continue to work. But I do want to grab this for decorating purposes in the actual houses. Because it only does stuff that you've picked up. And I want to make sure that we have certain things as well. So we will be buying stuff still. And we'll still be like doing stuff on Curse Cove, but we will not be decorating or adding to anything in Curse Cove. It's just mainly to make sure that we have our books filled for this area. And on top of that, we can bring our own villagers from our island to here. Like, uh, and I'll let you guys decide which villager I bring in the next episode if anyone wants to make a comment down below on which villager I should bring from Curse Cove to become a, have a like a vacation home basically all right okay we're outside now <gasps> Billy Billy I love you Billy we also have Apple too oh my god we need them they were part of, like, one of my other things. Billy! Oh my god, Billy! Hi, buddy! Apples. And then, uh... Pottery? Is that what you want, buddy? Seriously? Okay, I'm gonna write down... Or I'm going to get my notepad out here for just a second. So I can write down what they want. Uh, hers is apples. Hers will be re re easily remembered. Oh. Pottery. Okay, got it. Um, because we might actually say and see if test if thing that we want our own idea be part of it. Oh, we can't do it yet. Okay, that's fine. Billy! I love you, Billy! I'm so glad Billy was there. I love Billy. Billy is my favorite villager from Bubble Bay. Billy is the first villager I've ever met that was part of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Him and Tammy are my go-to guys. Like, literally. My sisterly and my uh, jock one are always going to be those two. Mm. Okay, I was right. It is pottery. This works, honestly. No worries. We can figure out a good spot for you, Billy. Okay, so like this area, I want to save for if when I do a carnival type thing because I think it would be interesting to have it like by like a shopping district if someone wants like a place to go shopping or like nail salon whatever that's what that's going to be saved for same with like this area and this area 
these ones I kind of want to do I gotta figure out where a pottery place would be not there that would be definitely not good could go here because keep in mind we still have to probably come back here because it won't let us probably decorate outside right away but we got Billy I'm excited that we got Billy let's do this Billy pottery class time honestly that's not too shabby okay while we're sitting out here I'm going to switch screens here for just a second again so that way we can get our rolls in for what color palette we're going to go with Billy's and what we're going to do for his wood. So let me get rid of the one that we did for Ella Twee. All right, so we're going to roll our D20 for the color, color palette. So let's do that first. 12. It's going to be orange, white, purple, and yellow. Interesting combo, especially for Billy. <laughs> and then for our wood... Four. What's four? Again, for me. Ugh, freaking light wood again. I hate light wood. I really do, but that's part of the challenge. Okay, so we're going with 12 and four for the light wood. Got it. Got it. All right, let's go back really quick. Switch back to the main camera here. I'll bring my color palette over here and I'll put my mouse on 12 so I don't forget which one we're doing and what color palette it is. I made sure that um, no two color palettes were the same, but I made them very much Halloween type themed. And I also made sure that there was a few that weren't and all that great stuff because we got to do the challenge on how we get it. So we got Lightwood, unfortunately, and we got... Um, an interesting color palette, to say the, say the least. Okay, so we can do outside. Perfect. Everything is going to be kind of like in this dingy, kind of like almost nighttime type feel for everybody. For the season, it's going to be fall for everybody, okay? We're not going to make it any other season from starting now. Because we couldn't do that for Ella Twee, but we will go back and do that for her later make it a little bit uh this one or this one hmm let me look really quick with my eyeballs is it a little too dark is the question or should we make it a little bit lighter because everything in this area is gonna be the same so i want to decide now before i get too into it. I think this is a perfect time of day right there. We can make it rain in certain areas if we want uh, but this is how it's going to look forevermore. Uh, for the houses, it can be whatever I want to do as long as it's in the wheelhouse of the colors that has been decided for me. So for example, let's say we want to make this look like a really great pottery class like it's in a big house, okay? Um, we can do that or we could make it like Billy's house in a way. But we have to have it in the color palettes that um, was chosen for us. So like, let's say we're going with this one. I don't know if we are yet. Uh, but we have to pick the colors that we got. So like purple roof would be the one more than likely if I was going with this particular one. Um, could have... Uh, shoot, there's really not... Um, an orange or a yellow that well this would be okay uh, that one or this this one would be fine because that's yellowish and then for the door itself could be orange possibly and that would be like basically what I would do if that's the one I was thinking about going with but you know what I think I actually might go with this particular style for the for the house itself we could go with a more yellow themed roof. And then for the sides here, we got to figure out what we're going to do. We could go with yellow themed or even white would be okay. 
So it's supposed to be a, par a pottery class. So I'm trying to do a two-tone white exterior. That sounds good because we do need to make it white. For the door itself, we can make it more orange or purple. Let's see. Would that look better? Because the lights are going to be kind of like off more than likely for all, for most of them. This one might be in a different type of like feel. Okay, there. I think that might look perfect. That looks like a kind of like idea of a, pot a pottery class type thing. Um, for outside for now, because I definitely want to probably add more stuff eventually. I'm just going to put some pottery stuff outside. Some of these, some of those, and I will make them the colors that they have to be. So like, for example... Mm. We might have to make them all that one because it looks more white. Even though it does have some blue. And for these ones... We might have to go with this one because that's yellow. Right, yellow is one of our colors. Okay, good. Uh, and then these ones... I'm going to move them around just a little bit here and there. I'm not going to stay right there in front of the door. And these ones probably have to be all white. There we go. Perfect. All right. Um, that will be basically kind of like the idea for the outside. Ooh, hay beds. Perfect. Make it a little bit more spooky themed with the hay beds. Kind of like just scattered all over the place. Um, for the walk up here, I might use some of these. Let's actually move this pottery just a little bit. Just kind of like you know, scattered all over the place. You're like, because Billy, he's a messy guy, so he doesn't really care where things go. We're going to do like a nice little walk up going up to his house here. And of course, we actually might use some of our Curse Co. pathing. I don't feel like the pathing should count for the outside because like, Obviously, this is what we have for the pathing for our actual Curse Cove, so it makes sense that it would be over here, too. Like I said, we're spreading the curse. Um, so we're just going to make a nice little path going up to Billy's house here. I think I'm going to try to thin it out just a little bit here. Like, kind of like that. And then right here, do a two-prong one. And for this little spot, this is what this is for. Here can be this one. That looks really good. I like that. And then we'll just kind of like do. Um, actually, we could. Oops, we could move this out of the way and like have some. Um, oh, what's it called? Fencing going on. So for the fencing. Let's see if we can do it. We can't, unfortunately, but that's okay. They don't have our spooky fence, but we can make it in the colors that we need to make it into. Um, and we can only make it in orange, white, yellow, or purple. I want, if I was going to do it in those type of colors, it needs to be darker than that. Let's try this one, because I'm pretty sure the purple in this one is pretty dark. It's darker, but... And I'm gonna do a couple like that, and I can rotate it 
to be like that. And we'll do one right here. Yeah, okay. And then for the rest of the pathway here, whoops, I'm just going to go back to this. And we're going to do a couple more of these. But we're going to kind of spread them out just a little bit. So that way we can do... Oh, shoot. We don't have orange. Yeah, we do have orange. Perfect. Okay. I got freaked out there for a second. If we end up doing it with these bushes, uh, they have to be... Orange and yellow have to be in the color palette, which thankfully it is. Okay. That looks good. For the flowers, I think I'm just going to do these wind flowers that are purple. Or, sorry. Orange. My bad. Um... Because orange is in our color palette wheel. And then for the trees themselves. Good. They will be fall themed. That's what I wanted. Perfect. Um, let's move this out of the way. Put that right there. Possibly put another one over here. And then there. Okay. Perfect. A couple more windflowers here and there. Like I said, Billy's not the cleanest guy in the world. So that's kind of like why I'm making his place look a little crazy outside. We're going to do an outside pick of him. And for him, I'm going to make it how I would think that he, what he would wear in the color palettes that we have too. Possibly. Um, we could go with this. Because <laughs> it's orange. Um... I guess that might be the one. Unfortunate. I wish I could give him that one. But this is the one that we might be going with. No, I like his little horns. Okay. That's what we're going to go with. For Billy's pictures here. Okay, so let's do a quick pick of this. I know that was a terrible picture, but it's fine. We're going to go inside. In we go. For inside, I think I'm going to do kind of like this idea that he does the clay stuff for inside. So, like, obviously has all of his, like, materials and stuff up on here. Um, and then for the class itself, because I think there'll be idea, good idea for it to be, like, kind of like a class type thing. Um... I know that's the oven already, but I feel like this would be fun to have in here. We'll go with white. And this will be in the middle. Or like right beside it. Because right now we can't make their houses bigger either. So that's kind of why I'm giving myself two times to come to people's houses. Because there will be more stuff that I can do later. Uh, for the interior of his house, okay, good. We can pick other colors. Let's go with this, and then for the floor, 
We'll go with white. You know, I didn't give myself a gray palette, but I would assume that that's like part of black, so I'm not going to use it for this. Because we don't have black in our wheelhouse. And that's not light wood either. So we're going to go with this orange molding thing. Um, let's see. Let's go with this, like, ones that are starred, because those are the ones he likes. Or wants in his house, I should say. As long as it can be the variant of the color that we need to use, I'll use it. Okay, so we're going to have one workbench over here. And then we'll have one workbench over here. And then we'll have a couple of, like, chairs for the students to sit in. You know, instead of this in the background, like this this particular thing, we should do a workbench, because that would make much more sense. Oh my god, get out of here. And of course, we should have probably a sink. And then... I think for the chairs, I might just go with some simple chairs on this side. Of course, we gotta have a rubbish bin. Possibly, like, right there. And then for his, like, little example spot... We'll have this right here with this there. All those are going to be the same because unfortunately we got yellow. So like there was no other colors. Like if we got one that wasn't one of the colors, then I could pick which one I would want. But unfortunately, since there was yellow, we have to use the yellow. Um... We could also have, like, one of them have, like, already gotten done with what they were doing. Possibly. We could go with this one. Because that's white. And for this student, we could have them be done with one, too. Possibly. We can have them have one of these pots ready to go. For back here, maybe we'll have a couple of cabinets kind of just on the wall. Possibly three of them. I feel like also this broom should be around here somewhere too. That's broom and dustpan in the back here. We could go with yellow or purple, or we could keep it neutral because our color for our wood is like the light color. I kind of like the idea that it's really yellow. Okay, we really don't have any of our purple in any of our scenarios here at all. Unfortunately, that's just how it goes sometimes. But I'm going to try to put some purple in right now. Um, maybe on a carpet. Is there a purple carpet? No. Is there... Wait, was there a purple flooring? I know that there's a purple flooring for Ella Twee. We could do that for here, too. But I think the wood grain looks better. We could do it for maybe the walls? No, there's no purple walls, unfortunately. We could make purple walls, but 
We're not going to. We're going to keep it like this because of the fact that I feel like the lights would be on in this particular scenario. Oh, man, we really don't have any purple at all. Even outside, which is sad to say. Uh, I had a much easier time with pur- Oh, wait, I have an idea. I have an idea how to bring in the purple. Okay, so the the chairs themselves will be that white color or that really tan color. And for the seats, we'll make them purple. We'll do... I don't want the same as Elatui. We could do that one. That one. This one. This one. This is how we'll bring our purple in. Definitely think I'm going to keep it like that. Um, I'm trying to figure out another way that we could have our purple in this little area. We can have our music up here. Oh, we need to also buy the hanging light thing, too, from Nook's Cranny. Or from Nook's itself. You know what? I kind of like how it is. Very bare minimalist, in a way. It's very quaint. Okay, we're going to put Billy right here. Like he's teaching the class. Actually, let's put you on the little bit of the side so I can get a better picture of you, Billy, in the room. So I think we're gonna be good for what we got going on here. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, let me see if I talk to him. He'll let me do it. It's ready, buddy. really like it. I really like it. I do. Even though we didn't use a lot of purple, I think it still looks really good. Beautiful picture. But uh bum. We did the best we could. Of course, we'll be coming back to all these Starter Island ones. Perfect, actually. <laughs> I like it. All right. It's ready, Billy. 
I sure did. It's so cute. Okay, so we have to go back over to Elatwee's really quick so you take a photo, yada yada yada, I know the drill. And then she'll ask me, do you want to continue to work? And then I will say yes. So this, this particular thing is just showing you how you go back to your particular villagers' houses. So obviously... Uh, this does not count as going there because we're not decorating. We're just going to go take a picture quick and come back. I think also with El Tweed too, I'm going to change her color of her outfit here. And either be purple, this green, or yellow. I'm going to go with this purple.
Okay, let's go pick our uh, next villager. I'm probably going to do one more after this. Because I don't really count Ella Twees. So we got her. <gasps> Mo! Oh, he wants to do a magic show. That would be really perfect. Honestly. Let's do Mo. Maybe we'll come back and do Apple. But we gotta have Mo. Mo! Hi, buddy! I miss you! Let, let me take care of it, buddy. I like his magic show. I think it's gonna be perfect for the Curse Cove idea spreading the curse for sure he needs to be in this world because he wants to make a magic show and i think it'll be perfect for what we want to do uh for everything definitely hmm where would a good place be for a magic show Huh. Hmm. Sure, we'll do that one. All right, just like last time, we're going to switch back over to my main screen. And we're going to roll to see what we get for our color palette as we're loading into that. Okay, I'm going to switch to... The main camera. All right, rolling that D twenty. Three again. Should I re-roll since I got a three again? I want to do different color palettes. I want you guys to see what we got here going. Let's do a different color palette since we did that one already. All right, eighteen. All right, that's fine. All right, and then for our wood, please don't give me freaking light wood again. Five. Thank you, dice. We got normal wood. So we're going with 19. It was 19, right? Camera. Oh, it was 18. Sorry. 18. And we're finally getting a different color variation for our wood. So let's do that really quick. Ignore the background because I forgot to switch it. Okay. So 18. And we're doing regular wood. I only did that because we had that particular wood type or that particular one just in this episode. Then that's the only time I get to re-roll is if I use the same color palette in the same episode, okay? That is going to be the rules from now on. I get to re-roll if it's in the same episode. So we're on day one, so that makes sense. All right, so I feel like we should just go with the Curse Cove like theme with the bridges as well. The, I use the suspension bridge for pretty much everywhere. And we have black this time, finally. Um, I think what I might do is make the, because it's supposed to be kind of like a big manor. I think what I'll do is I'll make it this for the, um, fencing. And now I'm going to move this just up a little bit. Actually, let me see what we got going on here. I think I might do this one. If I can make it fit. Because this will be interesting. And we got purple again. So let's go with the dark themed house. Because it's supposed to be kind of like a manor type thing. Uh, 
All right, and we'll go with that iron door because we got purple. Um, we could go with this though because we have orange and yellow as well as as options, or even that, or that, or this one. We could go with that one, or this yellow fancy door. Hmm. Or even this one. We could go with this one. That's really bright yellow. Or even a black door. Of course, we got to make it fall. So let's do that. We got to make it the same time as everybody else's. Except for Ella Twee. She's the only one that I haven't switched it to any the right time or anything. And I believe this is the one that we went for. Yes. Perfect. Half an inch back up. Ah, uh, I'm kind of regretting that. Push this as back as far as we can get it, I guess. And for the pathing, of course, we're going to go with our signature pathing. Can I just say how difficult this is actually is doing this? Kind of like that, and then we'll just do corner piece there. 
And then we'll just do our two side pieces in here. Sort of like that. Now let's go back to this part. And orange and yellow are both of our colors in this one again. I feel like there's not really a lot of orange and yellow going on right now. There's a lot of purple though, so that's good. You know what? I might change these into yellow so I can use the orange windflowers for outside. So I think the four bushes where they were at were perfect. Let's do a regular tree. So we have our, you know, trees. Hello, do you remember me? Yes, I do, Chris. Yes, I do. I think I'm going to do it like that. A little bit of growth here and there for some of these. Whoops. That looks good. All right. We're inside of its house now. Don't worry, Mo. We'll get you decorated here in a minute. Come on in to the party, Mo. Ha ha ha. Just joking. Interesting color palette? My phone is ringing. Dot, dot, dot. Of course it is. Hey, Sugar Song, it's Lottie. Sorry for bugging you while you're working. Can you chat really quick? No, Lottie, I can't. Pro decoration license. You definitely need to need one to decorate a vacation home. So I ordered you one. Oh, she ordered me one. Oh, thank you, Lottie. I didn't know she would do that. Do you want to play Stray right now? No. I'm probably not going to be going back to Stray, buddy. I beat the game. The only way I'm going to go back is if everybody wants me to do a quick run of, like, beating it without within two hours or whatever it would be, you know? And that would be, like, a lot of people, like, saying, hey, can you please play Stray again to, like, beat it with, like, the certain amount of time that you can do it in and it's like yeah sure you know that's the only way I'm probably gonna go back to straight okay so we have black as an option for this particular thing I really wish that she wouldn't have just changed the background for me because like now I'm gonna get confused I hate the pro license thing yeah no not right now buddy not playing straight probably for a while again because I already did it I beat it um there we go. I was like, how the frick do I get back to the walls again? Uh, sort. Can you make them all the same, please? Of course you can. There we go. Okay, got it. Um, accent wall. I don't really want an accent wall for his house, though. We could do an accent wall, I suppose. The only thing is, I really didn't want him to have an accent wall. I didn't, I didn't want this. I didn't want the accent wall. How do I get rid of the accent walls? I don't know. I, I really don't know. Okay. Well, crap. Um, we could do a yellow accent wall. 
possibly. Or an orange one. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> sure, why not? You know, who cares, right? I feel like the accent wall would be the wall that he would do all of his stuff on. You know what I mean? I don't know. So maybe we should do it like this. Like, make that the stage in a way. Purple is our color, so we could do that. Party flooring. I kind of like the party flooring, but is that more blue than purple? I don't know. I'm pretty sure you showed me once when you are showing me pictures. Okay, I think these two will be right here on this. Maybe. Maybe a lower table. Actually, this makes more sense. Let's bring it back a little. It can't be white, though, because it has to be the colors that we have, which is orange, yellow, purple, and black. We could go with this yellow color, or we could give them a pattern. Does that look good? Let's do like this, possibly. Ah, oh, man, how is he going to get back there, though? I just thought of that. Maybe we'll do the lights like this on each side of like the little, the um, big stage thing here. Give him a little bit of a popcorn machine. Sure, why not? Um, can it be any of the colors that we can use? Yes, black, perfect. All right, for the audience. Actually, can I switch the accent wall to be a different wall? I can. That gives a window. I don't want windows. Shoot. Ah, I got rid of the accent wall. Good. Ah, oh, that's going to make life so much easier. Okay, let's switch this around. Let's actually make this the main stage area because there'll be more room over on that other side to put it like a couch or something. Oh, it was your dad's face. Gotcha. All right, Mo. I think that would be the best for you because we can use black. There you go, buddy. Wait, can we give you a hat? Do we have do we have the right hat? We do have the right hat. Yeah. Looking snazzy. <laughs> Honestly though, this feels like it's too tall for him to actually work on. So let me <laughs> give him a shorter table. Poor guy, so it's short. Uh let's try the low table. Is that better? That's like super way better. Okay, so we can make that black. And puts his two things here. There we go. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I feel like my life just got stolen from me. Ow. Okay. And for the audience. <laughs> I am so sorry. That was probably really loud. Um. Oh yeah. He's just like, yeah, this music is my jam. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, good God, this music is atrocious. <laughs> it's so funny, though. Okay, wait. Ow. 
And for my next trick, I will pull a rabbit out of this hat. Literally, Mo. You're so funny. Beautiful. Perfect. All right. You go right there, buddy. Um. This music is so funny. Okay, so we can go with yellow for the bottom pieces. We got orange, yellow, black, and purple. We could go with black or purple. I don't feel like we have a lot of orange or yellow though. So we could go with yellow. The only thing is, I wonder if these guys can be changed different colors, too. They can. We can make them purple. That's that's the important thing. Could go with that, or we could like do a customized color that would have orange and yellow. Actually, I have the perfect customized color thing for it. This one. Oops. There we go. That brings in both of the colors. Well, let's put this on the back wall like that. We can make the popcorn pop. If I can click on it. There we go. Hello? There we go. Perfect. Alright. And for the piece of resistance, can we do... Yes, we can. We can do that. Alright, so let's give them some more lighting back here. We'll leave them black. And then for, you know what, put the flooring. I feel like this, even though it's like crazy, will work better because it's more purple. Oh, we could go with this too. <gasps> Ooh, wait, magic circle rug. Of course we have to have that. Okay, Mo, I feel like this is getting good. The only thing is I feel like you're missing some stuff. Could do some stage lighting, okay.
there we have all the colors. <laughs> Besides black, of course. Because black's everywhere else. You know what? It looks great. Let's get a picture, Mo. If you want to, Chris, I'm not going to stop you from doing whatever you want to do. I'm just not paying attention too hard because I'm focusing. Sorry. Oh shoot, the shiny stuff is going to come up next. I forgot about the shiny crap. It's going to make me do it too for the next person. So whoever we do, probably a good idea to see if they like shiny stuff. Because it's going to have to be shiny. It will not let me leave until I do it. So he does want riches. That could be an idea of doing that one. They always give you that guy when you have to do the shiny thing. So we could do that one. But here's the thing. We do have to have yellow as our main color because we're going to have to use it for gold. Unfortunately is how it's going to have to be. So hopefully with the roll we do get gold. I really don't like Pudge, but unfortunately it will be better for this because it's going to make us do it. I see Billy in the background. I love you, Billy. Okay, so let's actually just do it here because I think he could get his riches from the ocean.
And when you do go vi visit your villagers on the island, they do wear the clothes that you picked out for them. So that's kind of why I pick out clothes for them as well. All right. Let me switch my camera again. And we'll leave it right there for that part. All right. Um, and then we'll switch it to this. Perfect. All right. D20, do not fail me. 18. 18 again. Unfortunately, that's the same one that we just got done doing. And it does have yellow and purple and black and, ye and orange. Should I keep it or re-roll? I said I was going to re-roll if it was the same number because I got three last time. Let's re-roll... Because I said if it's on the same one. 15. Perfect. We still have yellow. <gasps> Thank the freaking Lord. All right. 15. Got it. 15. And then for our wood. Notice I didn't really use our wood last time. Yeah. Sorry about that. Three. It's going to be dark wood. Perfect. 15 is red, orange, black, and yellow. Which I was hoping for yellow. Because we're going to be using a lot of gold in this particular one. So, 15, 15, all right, switching back, 15, and we get to use hardwood for the first time. So hopefully we can actually use it in this one because last time I didn't use it because there wasn't very much um, way to actually use it. But we definitely will use the hardwood in this one, maybe even for the house itself. To be frankly honest, I kind of like the idea of leaving it how it is. Let's give you a red roof. And we'll give you a hard wood look for your house. I think that would be really nice. Or we could do... Um... Black. Like this. I want you to come over to his house and be like, hmm, it's bigger in the inside. It's kind of like the thing I'm like kind of going for right now. I think that's cute. That's like actually really perfect for your outfit, buddy. This is not going to do. We need to give you something stylish. How about that? Yeah. Look at you. All right. For the outside... Obviously, we got to go with our theme here. We go down to this point and we make it fall. Okay, and since we have orange and yellow, we can use both of these as well again. I think I might actually use that for the entrance here and also have it to be like our um, fencing this time because there's not going to be like a way to really do too much fencing in this one. Um, you know what? We're going to give him a money tree. That's how he acquires most of his riches. Hell, we'll give him two money trees. How's that sound? And then, of course, for the pathing here, let's say he upgraded and got the, he's like, even though he's like on the beach here, he upgraded and got the other pathing that we use. Since we have black, we can actually use that pathing. Even though this pathing does have like a couple of like variations of different colors, I think it'll still work because the main color is black.
Definitely going to give him some of those guys because I find that, like, he's, like, the type of guy that would have that outside of this house. Um, shoot, we really don't have a lot of benches, do we? That is beach themed. But what we could do is we could use a lot of golden moss over here by the beach itself. Let's kind of spread it out a little bit. Oh, we do have one of them. Okay, good. Let's just do that over here. Perfect. <laughs> I love it. Okay, inside we go. Obviously, the outsides are not even close to being done because I'm going to be going back to all these villagers' highlands eventually. that on top of that I definitely want to give him like a huge throne right in the middle here um hmm. There we go. I was like, come on, go to the wall. Actually, that shouldn't be the axon wall. The axon wall should be the other way. Because that doesn't make much sense because he's on the beach. There we go. Much better. Do it on that wall. Because it will say, like, the, the city's that way or something. I don't know.
course, he has to have something to relax in. I think I might move that out since we have that there and we'll just put the money over here. Put a few stacks. The question is, should I leave it gray? Nah, we'll leave it gold. Gonna have our skills. So far looking good to be honest, but I feel like I can add a few more things. Like I feel like he's the type of guy that would definitely have a poster of himself in like his house. That is a giant statue. Would he fit in that corner with one of these guys being removed? No, he won't. Literally, he would have to move everything. Cannot wait until I can make things bigger. Oh, good, he has this.
Yeah, definitely that one. Okay. I feel like that's good. Because I know that it's going to tell me that uh, I got to shine everything up. Which I'm going, going to do here. And then like... A hot minute. Oh, wait. Hold on. Not quite yet, buddy. I need to do something real quick. Like, I need to look at this really hard. Because I feel like, even though this has yellow in it, this is not the right one. We need to put red in here yet, too. Let's do this instead. And we'll still have the cityscape over there. Because we have barely any of our actual colors that we're supposed to be using in this whole area. A Persian rug. I like the gold flooring, though. I do like our accent wall, too. Could use this and then, like, leave that like that, but... I feel like the red walls really do bring it all kind of like together a little bit more. And we didn't use a lot of orange. We used more orange outside. Which is fine, but I just feel like we're not using all the colors in this one, unfortunately. I feel like the Cardinal Opera is a fun one to have. This one big guy right here is annoying a little bit. I feel like he doesn't fit. Even though we do have black as like an option, I feel like he just doesn't fit the like area at all. You know what? Let's instead of this back there, I do want I do want this though in there still somewhere. But instead of that particular table, we could do something else. To bring in our hardwood, we could do this trophy thing. I feel like he would be the type of guy to also do this as well. And let's move these paintings a little bit more. I do like these paintings as well. Kind of like that, like action going on. We could put this on top of here. We could put that there. And then in front of that particular showcase, which we can also put more, like, a piggy bank up in there. Um, actually, let's do another trophy. Let's, let's say he's gotten all these trophies and they're all gold. We'll do that, or like the trophy case. And then in front of the trophy case, even though it has one of these guys here, you can see, like... I kind of have, like, all this stuff over here on this side and not so much crap over here. I feel like we're missing so many things. Can we actually make this room bigger? Not yet. Okay. And be that way. I will be putting that on the floor, I think. Like this. We still need to shine everything up. So I'm going to have to take these down and then re-shine them. Okay. Let me say it's ready. And let's see if it's, like, going to stop us. Hey, wait up a second, Sugar Song. Yeah, see, I knew that was going to happen. Sorry. Just need a moment really quick with our designer. If you don't mind me doing this. <laughs> I put those scales in the wrong spot, so that's good that uh, Nico stopped me. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Nico. make everything in this room that I feel like should be sparkly sparkle.
Okay. Now it's ready. See, I knew that was going to be like one of the things that we had to do. So I chose him in the first place. Yay, it's finished. I love it. And I really did try my best to incorporate all the colors here. Not really much inside that I could do too much, but it is what it is. I think I want him sitting right here. You come in here on the day of my daughter's wedding. Okay, <laughs> buddy, there you go. Hmm. They're both really good. I like this one, though. Okay, how long has it actually been? Do we have time for one more? Is the question. No, we do not. It's been too long. Alright, so I hope you got the concept of what we're going to be doing um, for this idea. So I will say again um, all the rules. See you later, Sugar Song. See you later, I guess. She's making us do some stuff, which I'm going to do while I'm doing my outro here. I'm glad that you guys can come today, and I hope you enjoyed what, what, what we did. Obviously, we're not close to even being done, so we'll, we will lose Apple, but I didn't really want to make her place too shiny, honestly. I love Apple, but I'm glad we got Billy, and we got ourselves our Mo. Unfortunately, we got Ella Twee. But she's going to look at the school thinking that, hey, we should probably do this. So hopefully we'll actually get to the school for the next episode. But um, for now, this is where we're going to leave off. Ah, Willow. I like Willow too, but that is what, that's how it goes sometimes. I hope you guys enjoyed this so far. We are spreading the curse over to the Happy Home developer area. The Happy Home Challenge has officially started spreading the curse is what we're going to be calling it this is episode one um but here's all the rules again so you guys if you want to try this challenge as well you certainly can um i just chose a like i made my own like color palette that had 20 different colors in it so i can roll a d20 to pick out the colors i wanted or what i would be using i can re-roll as long as I've already hit that number once that day, I can re-roll if I feel like I need to. I wanted to do that today because of the fact that uh, I wanted you guys kind of to get the concept of like different color palettes. So I might not do that for the next time. 
you can choose a re-roll if you want, but roll for your color that you will be using. I'm going to be rolling a d20, as you probably saw earlier in the stream. Um, roll for wood. One and four are light wood. Two and five are normal wood. And three and six are dark wood. So, basically, if I'm going to use wood in the particular villager's house, I don't necessarily don't have to use that particular wood. But if I'm going to use the wood, that's the wood I have to use. If when you have a villager, even if you say I have a better idea, uh, you have to pick or stick with the villager's original idea. So, like, for example, if you went out and talk to, um, like, because right now, since we're in the beginning of the game, we can't necessarily do it ourselves, saying I have a better idea, but later down in the line, we'll be able to do that. So, like, even if I said I have a better idea to make it more Halloween-themed, I still have to go with the original theme that they wanted. Uh, so that's kind of why I'm feeling like more than likely what I'll do is I'll go through the first initial like pass between everybody and then start from the very beginning of whoever we started with, which is Ella Twee. Uh, not Ella Twee, sorry. Um, the, the elephant, Eloise. There we go. Eloise. We'll start with Eloise and our second pass through we can like do any changes that we want but the big major change that we probably will do is make it more halloween themed and make it more our type of theme because you'll notice with um eloise that we couldn't do her outside of her house because we didn't get that option yet i promise when i come back here too i will have a few extra stuff that we'll be able to do um i did not know that um, she would give you the extra stuff that we needed for this, which is like having a pro license. So that was good. So I might not get too many things, but I do want to grab um, Savannah on Harv's Island because she can give you more like backgrounds and stuff like that. And I want to get more like backgrounds that are spooky themed. Uh, with the backgrounds and the... Uh, Flooring, I feel like I can make them any way I want as long as they're in the color palette wheel. Now, the only color palette that I did not grab was gray. Um, I feel like that's going to be my fail safe. Like, it's going to be my white and black. Instead of, like, white and black being my white and black, I feel like gray should be my, like, okay, um, I can't think of what else to put here. I'm going to use a gray ground. I feel like that would be my go-to extra palette. Obviously, uh, that's not part of the rules, but like, obviously, I forgot about gray. Um, so, the third rule was uh, stick to the villagers theme, even if you say you have a better idea. Kind of like, stick to the theme to the point. You can use amiibo cards but only for the roommates which is one of the things that they do eventually let you do is bring in roommates and you are allowed to change the person's house again for the roommates so like for example if I was going to Ella Twee's house again for the third time and I wanted to change it up again I would have to use a roommate to change it up again if I already went through and changed it once. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, so that's kind of like that whole thing. Uh, for that whole like idea of what I'm doing. Um, but I feel like it's going to be a good way of like doing this okay so like next one is you can only decorate a place two times unless you're adding a roommate and then the goals which are the goals i wanted to like achieve with this whole idea make all the areas the theme you pick and you have to have all areas must be done all areas must be done by the time that you get through it all so like even after we get um, KK, uh, I do want to eventually come back here 
and uh, um, go and like do more, obviously, because we will get KK on here as well uh, eventually, and that's like one of the big things that you can like end up seeing and like see all your pictures. I want to go through and do a lot more extra pictures before that particular thing happens because I want to make sure that they look more cursed and look, look more Halloween themed and they do show you the other pictures from the outside as well so that's kind of why I want to make sure I do all the outside pictures as well eventually obviously we'll be going through all the villagers um houses again eventually but we can only go there twice and we've already went there once for the ones that are on the island so far so i hope you enjoyed it obviously we'll be back with this particular idea and i'll explain it again for a few times um the dream address for curse cove is in the comment or in the description down below if you want to go and see curse cove for yourself i do a little bit of an island tour but i don't go everywhere on purpose so then that way you can look for the six babies that are on the island and the seventh one is in the house so there's seven all in total on curse cove let me know if you find all seven in the comments below um, and have fun going through Curse Cove, checking out all the stuff like really great in detail because there's a lot of stuff to look at. I packed the island. I really packed that island. Uh, but this is our new challenge now. The Happy Home Challenge has begun today and I'm going to stop here and we'll come back sometime maybe next week or what have you i'm not going to do this every day like i did curse code because that was i had to get it done in 30 days this doesn't really have a set time frame this will be more long lines when i have time to do it and like i want to make sure that i have other games for you guys besides animal crossing okay all right i will see you guys very soon have a wonderful day and see you soon bye